So the question is whether or not elemental diets are effective in the management of lower aegids. There's very little scientific study of that question. Um, so in infants who have allergic colitis or inflammation of the colon from an allergic phenomenon, the use of an elemental diet may be very effective because it allows the removal of the offending antigen from the child's diet in a way that perhaps couldn't be done otherwise. For older kids who uh, have a form of eosinophilic inflammation in the colon, um, it's usually not on a dietary basis if the colon is the only organ that's affected, um, in which case the elemental diet is going to be less effective. So in, if you define allergic colitis as a true food allergic phenomenon, then an elemental diet should be very effective. But I would caution you to remember that there are forms of eosinophilic colitis, for example, that are not allergic in nature. So lower intestinal inflammation that's associated with eosinophils have been termed eosinophilic colitis or gastroenteritis. There have not been any studies that have been prospectively performed to assess uh, the best treatment option. Many of the patients may respond to diet elimination for uh, their treatment and in that sense uh, elemental diets or severe diet restrictions can be helpful. In our experience we have not found uh, them to be as helpful except in the very young patients who are less than one year of age. So lower ages would mean technically uh, ages that affect the colon. And yes, and why do I say that I am extrapolating data uh, from uh, a condition known as seen in babies known as allergic colitis where there's a protein going in their diet either through the mother's milk or in the formula that is irritating their GI tract and they come with blood in their stool. And often in those babies we do a formulation of, this, uh, of a diet where you take out milk, soy, corn, eggs, nuts, and fish. So very similar to the six food elimination diet, but instead of taking out wheat, it is taking out corn. Um, or putting them on a formula where the protein is broken down and the diet does help in those instances. So based on that information, that experience, I would say the diets do work or could work in lower Egypts. But again, those are, these are rarer, even rarer conditions than EOE and upper Egypts. And the, the fund of knowledge and the literature body is so limited that we really need to learn way more than what we do right now.